Hello lads, welcome to DMZ. It is Chimso here. Today, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to have a bit of fun, sniping some squads, and then... <laughs> then of course, because they're squads, we're going to end up having to kill them all again because they res themselves, but uh, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the little black bars on left and right of the screen. I mean, actually, if you're watching a, on a 16x9 monitor, or anything non onshore wide, you've got black bars on the top and bottom too. And it probably looks really weird, you're kind of looking at this little... It, the video's kind of floating in the middle. Um, I recorded this in ultra-wide. Uh, I play in ultra-wide, so I'm going to record in ultra-wide. So if you've got an ultra-wide monitor, full screen the video. It's going to look really good. Um, but unfortunately, there's a bit of a uh, bug with the settings in the game. And if you select auto aspect ratio, it puts these little black bars on the side for the ultra-wide stuff. So you, you just have to set it to... Um, oh, no, sorry. If you set it to 21 by 9, it does that. Uh, you have to set it to auto to, to fix that. Uh, this will be the only video where that happens, because I, I did fix it afterwards. Uh, but anyways... Uh, my goal at the start here is to head to the hotel, because, uh, I want some loot. I kind of try to go into every game with, the, with like, an objective. A lot of the times nowadays, it's just to kill players, but a lot of times I'll be like, yeah, fuck it, I, wanna, I, I just want to, like, level up weapons. Because um, I only started playing two weeks ago, so I still got to level everything up. But, um, yeah, this, this particular, I, I'm like, I'll just go to the hotel, grab some loot, see if I can get into any fights. I've got the, uh, what's it, what's it called? The, SRA, XS, whatever, the, the 300 win mag, um, 5 round sniper. Uh, I don't think it's fully leveled actually at this point. It is now. Um, but this was like 4 days ago, I think. So, but it does have a suppressor, which is the important part. So, I decided to just fly over to <laughs> land on the top of the hotel. Generally not a good thing to do because other players are just going to immediately know that you're there when they see a chopper on top of it, so... Uh, but, you know, I, I got a light healer right at the start, so I might as well use it. Gonna land down on the hotel. See what I can grab. But, yeah, uh, I am... Was a Tarko player. I mean, I, I still am. I played, like... <laughs> it's funny. I got into DMZ because... I, I was waiting for the Tarko fight, which came on the 31st. So, I was kind of like, yeah, I, I want something to tide me over while I wait for the Tarko fight. So like, oh, this COD DMZ thing, I've seen some stuff about that. I saw, like, personally played it. Should I give it a go? Um, and it was really fun. <laughs> For, like, a couple days that I played it before the Tarkov wipe. And then the Tarkov wipe came, and, um... Yeah, it was, it was shit. Um, that game is doomed, man. Like, they're, they're not gonna... The AI... Okay, if anyone knows Tarkov, I was getting shot at by the... On shoreline. By the Sniper Scab at Power Station. While I was at the Weather Station. There's like 50 trees between me and that guy. And, uh, like, uh, it's, it's just so ridiculous. Like, So I'm, I was like, fuck it. The, the entire time, like the three or four days that I was playing Tarkov, I was just like, I wish I was playing DMZ right now. I wish I was playing DMZ right now. I wish I was playing DMZ right now. And after like the fourth down, I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to playing this and learning this because I was having way more fun. Uh, and I still am. That's why I'm here. But I'm going to put those Tarkov skills to, to use here. I, I I basically only play solo in Tarkov. Um, you know, every now and again I'll I'll play with a friend, um, but I for the most part I've been doing everything solo in Tarkov, and I decided to do that here. I mean, teammates in this game are pretty useless if you've got like auto field teammates. So that actually kind of makes it a bit beneficial for you as a solo player because, well, here's the thing: like it's not like in Tarkov where even a dedicated team in like Discord comms and everything. You can outplay them quite easily because you know, there's no hard, there's no, there's nothing telling the enemy team, like, who's who or anything. Like, basically the game, for all intents and purposes, treats your team, um, like any, anyone else, like an enemy. So there's no, like, marker above your ally's head. It's Tarkov. It's, it's more quote-unquote realistic. Oh my god, don't even get me started on the recoil in fucking Tarkov. Um... But, yeah, it, it's kind of... So, you can outplay teams. You can do shit. <laughs> there are people who will, like... Who, as solos, will, like, sneak up to a team of four and just, like, walk among them for a little bit. And then <laughs> the, the enemy team will kind of look around and think, wait a minute, wait, there's five of us. Hold on. <laughs> so, so, you can do fun shit like that. But, you know, the teams in Tarkov are generally more cohesive because there's no... Well, there is, like, a uh, lobby. Fuck. Oh, yeah, hello. Fuck. I'm coming. Yeah, there is kind of like a, a lobby, but no one really uses it. Um, fly over there. We got a fellow underneath us bike. going for the bike. Uh, no one really uses it, you know. It's kind of just like 
and, and you know, if you use the lobby, you've got to use the VoIP system, and you know, that, that kind of sucks, but in this game, every, every team is basically auto-filled uh, up, so it, it leads to some interesting things. I'm just, I'm just taking shots at this guy. I'm not going to kill him. Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm a murder monkey, man. I just try to, I try to kill everything I see <laughs> if, if it's, like, not going to get me killed easily. Uh, of course, I make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes in this video as well, but here we see our victims. So, I come up to this tower. The reason why I came up to this tower was I was not aware that you could just go up the stairs and go back onto the roof of that hotel. And uh, I've always, I always, at this point, jumped on it from the tower. So, I came back to the tower to, to jump on it. But, then I see this team here. Take one of them out fairly easily. Uh, this has got the uh, the high velocity round, so it's it's quite good. Uh, taking taking them out of that kind of range. But I'm just kind of uh, scoping up here. I don't have a spotter scope here, and the reason why I don't have one is because uh, I have quests to like pick up shit, uh, like gas grenades and stuff like that. But I think I accidentally took in um, stims, but that's okay. Take out another guy there, but I mean you know. It's a team. They're not dead until they're all gone. And it looks like the, the guy on the top of the hill got rezzed already or something happened there. Because um, he's gone. Or at least, oh, I've got a very small preview window here. So <laughs> I can't see this too well. That's all right. Now, that guy there is in the uh, building. It's in the ammo building down there. That building is going to be very important a bit later in the video here. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see him at first, but I see him on the recording. Uh, he's just chilling in the window there. That guy's got a... Uh, He's got a pretty good gun. Um, not really great for shooting at me up in the tower here, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can see his glint in the window there. He's got an ACOG. All I'm doing here is just like, I I know, like, I, I always like to reposition if I've been spotted, but at the same time, like, this guy really can't effectively hit me. Uh, even though I see that he has a scope weapon. Uh, it's a rapid fire weapon, so it's very unlikely that he's going to be able to actually hit me. So I just decided to cover the bodies for a moment. Um, but I kind of get bored. <laughs> and I just like, fuck it. I'm going to jump down, uh, move to a new position, and just be as unpredictable as possible. Just always show up at a new spot. Always, because right now, those guys are on comms being like, oh, he's up in the tower, he's up in the tower. Yeah, he's up there in the tower. Uh, obviously, now that guy's probably seen me jump down, but they still don't, they still don't, don't know where I am. They might think I've just fucked off and, and gone to extract or gone and done something else. But no, I'm going to sneak up sneak up on them here. And uh, we're going to see if we can take them out again. Now one important thing that really comes up in DMZ a lot compared to Tarkov is using the AI. Now I like, I snipe in Tarkov and I always use the AI in Tarkov as like an early warning system. Um, this guy, <laughs> they, they, they don't know I'm here. They, they just think, oh, he was up in the tower. The guy says, oh, he's not up in the tower anymore. I can't see him. They go there, they're not getting shot at, and now suddenly they're getting shot at again. They're like, what the fuck? And this is really effective against teams because, remember, they're communicating, and three randos communicating. There's going to be confusion. They're not really going to know what's happening. Take him out again. That's the guy with the ACOG there. He goes down again. And their bodies are kind of in an awkward spot because they can easily res each other. And that's what fucking sucks as a solo player against squads is just like they can just res each other as much as they want from full dead i really think that there should be like some kind of cap to that like you get one full res from full death uh per game and then after that if you die you die i think that's fair i mean if you're really dying that much you're making a lot of mistakes so i think i think it's fair for that to happen but it's probably not it's a more casual game what do you want so AI is coming in again here. Once again, not not shooting any of the AI, not disturbing them in any way, just letting them help me. Like the AI are my allies right now. Uh, they're not going to be in a moment. They are going to start shooting at me, but right now they're my al my allies. At munitions crate right there, just running out of sniper ammo. I would always recommend carrying. Well, pretty much always you want to carry a munitions crate. Uh, but definitely if he's sniping, because you'll literally be, like, up in a tower, or <laughs> one of those towers, and just raining shots down on people. And you're eventually going to run out of ammo, so having double the ammo supply on you is very nice. At first, I think, oh, I'm going to, like, jump down there, because I think that they've gone uh, down uh, further, like, towards the tower, and I want to chase after him. 
But obviously I hear him on VoIP here and... Um, they're here. I'm struggling to get up this fucking ladder because I'm a retard. But eventually I make it up. And the guy says into the building. So I know they're coming in here. I'm taking up position on the roof. They don't know I'm here. I'm not sprinting. I'm not making a lot of noise. Not shooting any of this AI. Yeah, technically the AI could shoot me from here. But I'm not... I'm not taking them out. They're my friends right now. So I'm just going to wait for them to get into this building and I'm going to do work once they do. Remember, the the best thing to have as a solo player is the enemy to not, not know where you are. To not know your exact position. And if they do know your exact position, to be very far away and out of range. So, just sniping up. That's why sniping is so effective as a solo. Not shooting at that guy. I want to wait until I can get one, a guy purely in my sights and just gun him down. 100%. That's the goal here. So, I'm just being patient. Not rushing, not trying to do any MLG shit, not trying to do any classic COD shit, just chilling, waiting, listening to the footsteps. You probably, you, you can't hear the footsteps, unfortunately, because uh, it's a bit, you know, it's, it's less volume for you. And then this guy pops out of the window here, and down he goes. There's one. On the roof. There you go. He reports my position, says I'm on the roof. Gonna move. Gonna look for any angles in the windows. See a guy creep in there. I, th I figure that might be an AI, but I don't think he gets shot. So, accidentally. Oh, sorry. Did I say accidentally? No. Intentionally jump off the roof to confuse them with the, <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the parachute pool, making them think I'm running. Uh, yeah, that that's one mistake right there. I see this guy right here. Ah, uh, I shoot a little bit too late. Another mistake there. Kind of give away my position. But I'm gonna move again. Seeing if he's gonna be there. Start moving. Yes, that was a drill charge. <laughs> They're really trying, man. See, he's shooting at my old position right there. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of players, when they play in teams, are just not used to repositioning. Yeah, he's still up there. So when you reposition, they just... They don't know where you are. It's like invis invincibility hacks. Take out another guy right there. Dropping some... Uh, I love proximity mines. Um, but unfortunately, I kind of... Uh, while I'm in the animation, that guy jumps out. Actually, no, I, I, I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'm pretty sure what happened there was a guy got, he got res through the building. So I think that was uh, the first guy I killed right there. Uh, and he got res through the building. I guess maybe like one of his hands was glitching through the wall. Um, so he got res and he's back up. So, but fortunately I get in there again. And here I make another mistake. I think that I've just killed all three of them. So I jump in here and I, I shoot this guy down. And I think, oh, cool, I've just killed all three of them. Awesome. Uh, I'm trying to get dog tags for the mission. Um, but for some reason, they glitch out and the dog tags don't spawn. And I get very confused, which is why you see me looting. But I'm un acting under the assumption right now that I've killed all of them. Um, I'm a little bit confused because I'm like, wait, where'd the body go? But, you know, that got the guy could have just left the game and then his body disappeared. So I'm behaving very casually right now because I think they're all dead. Um, this is why it's very good to record your games. But then I hear that window smash. And I hear some silenced gunfire. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and we got this guy over here. <laughs> he was still He's alive. just running around on his own. Yep, running around on his own. Cockhead. Yep, no, I'm a cockhead. Man, they, they probably think I, I like spawned in as a team and I was just split off. Ran away, ran away my own, but no, man. I'm solo. I'm running solo. That's how we do it. But yeah, they're all dead now. I'm going to like faff around here quite a bit because I, I want these dog tags. I'm like, why, why are the dog tags spawning? This is stupid. I killed these guys. <laughs> I just I can't figure it out. But yeah, uh, that's all right. I probably missed a bunch of good loot here because I'm just so flustered by not being able to get these dog tags after all that work. Um, so yeah, forgive my poor looting. I was really just trying to get the dog tags here. But yeah, this, this Luckman SMG that I picked up from the hotel really did work. And now, of course, the AI is coming for me. The AI is honestly more scared. They <laughs> the, those enemies don't do any damage to me. That entire extended fight. I wiped them twice. I don't think I killed all of them twice. Um, but overall, it was six kills on that team. So, yeah, and, and that entire time, they didn't land a single shot. <laughs> That's using that Tarkov experience right there. All those days riding solo, 
sitting in a building for five minutes just waiting for an enemy team to pass so I can leave with my fucking bronze pocket watch. Good times. But yeah. Uh, so the lessons that we can learn here. Basically, if you're solo, most of the time you're going to want to reposition if you're spotted. Exceptions are if, you know, you're like up in a tower and you can very clearly see that the enemy doesn't have any scopes or anything that can reliably hit you up in the tower and you're just sniping down. Of course, maintain your position. Um, if you're covering the enemy's bodies, trying to get a teammate who's resing them, uh, of course, maintain your position, but always be careful of getting flanked. That's why proximity mines are so great. You just drop them at your flanks and if they go off, you know someone's coming for you. Um, I also only have a small backpack this entire time, which is fucking annoying, but... Yeah, reposition. Don't don't stay in one spot. As as a solo, you need to have you need to have surprise as your primary element. If you're up close fighting, you need to just be able to beam a guy down immediately, full kill him, and then because because if they're shooting back at you, they're going to do damage to you, and then you're going to have to go back and play it up, and the other members of their team are just going to push you. You got to wipe them out straight away. Be ready, reload, back in the fight. So. Oh, there, there, there's a dog now. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. I didn't even end up completing this mission. I kind of just gave it up because I, I got to the next tier already, but... Yeah, it was really frustrating. But this guy's got a nice little uh, AK here. That's what he was shooting me with. Obviously, he really didn't stand any chance at actually hitting me with it. Um, but they were in a really awkward spot. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm very pissed off right now. <laughs> They're in a very awkward spot. Uh, honestly, if you're in a squad and that starts happening to you, just just run. Like, find a way to break line of sight. Get out of there. Uh, just whatever objective you're going for in that area, just give it up. Just run. Be don't try to be cheeky. Don't try to be cute. Uh, if you don't have any scope and you can't counter snipe, just run. Because, well, nowadays, I'd be up there with a... I'm, I'm up there with a thermal. I can see you wherever you go. If you pop out for a second, I see you. And that goes for, you know, anyone who's sniping competently. So... Yeah, we're just going to head to Extract now. I see the weapons case there. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I consider, like, do I do I push my lot? But, nah, fuck it. I got some good loot. Got some good kills. I think I'm going to a, head to a buy station here. Actually, do no, do, I don't. What do I do here? I'm trying to remember what I do. I'm considering going to a buy station. I don't exactly remember why I was doing that. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't think I end up doing that. I think I just end up going to Extract. Still got to be careful. I mean, there's, there's seven minutes left in the round, and Extract now is fairly safe. It's not going to be many people rushing, but, I mean, this Extract here is uh, kind of a poopy one because there's just so many fucking avenues you can be shot from. It's really annoying. Gonna head up along the back here. Not gonna go along the road just in case there's anybody up there who tries to. who's scoping at me. You know, obviously you'll see a scope glint looking up there. You should always be looking out for scope glints, but as I said, a lot of players are gonna be using spotter scopes which have no have no scope glint. So Yep, just gotta be careful about that. Go swing the sniping too, don't. Yeah, be be careful. Don't you should only be scoping in to shoot at people. Like when you're about to shoot at people. Otherwise you should be using a spotter scope. And now I'm gonna do one of my favorite little tactics, which is just um I've called in an, an X fill. There isn't like a reasonable spot where I can get a decent overview of the, the area, so I just kind of as long as I'm in an armored vehicle or like something that isn't completely exposed, like a quad bike or a chop club or something, I just drive around in circles. Makes it basically impossible to get hit by any sniper fire. If uh, an enemy team suddenly pops up, I will typically be able to see them because I've got the third person view. And I can just drive away in the other direction, drive to another extract if I don't think it's a favorable fight, which most of the time it won't. Uh, and yeah, this is actually very nice when you're on the, the hilltop extract. Because you can just kind of drive around in circles around the edge of the hill. You, you get full 360 degree view and just get easy extracts. But yeah. That was it. Nice little raid right there. Or deployment, or whatever they call it in this game. Decent loot. Didn't get my dog tags that I wanted, but yeah. Really took care of those guys. <laughs> Killed them. Wiped them twice, man. Six kills. Oh, well.
That's how it is. You gotta work hard to get the glory, man. Alright. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Consider subscribing. I'll be making some more DMZ content down the line. But, uh, yeah. DMZ solo, solo content, of course. Always playing solo. But otherwise, take care. Have a nice day. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.